Hey everybody, I promised I would show my signal chain and what my, my setup looked like for my Hear About It Later guitar lesson. I get a lot of people that ask me about uh, my, my amps and what I'm using, so I'm going to just show you in a little bit more detail in this quick video what I did during that Hear About It Later video. And I pretty much do this for all my YouTube videos. I, I select a different patch per song, but most of the time I stick to the same two or three settings. But I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my Fractal Lax 8 and my signal chain. So hope this helps. If you've got any questions, comment below. I'll be glad to answer anything that you've got. I'm not an expert with Fractal stuff, but you know we all learn as we go. But this is my setup. Alright, sorry for the glare, but this is uh, as good as I can get it for now. But my main screen for the Fractal Axe 8 shows that I'm on a Friedman BE. This is the stock Friedman BE setting that comes with the Fractal Axe 8. And I've got my, I've got basically, here's my, my settings that I've got flanger, and I've got a little bit of a chorus, which is pitch, and a delay. On this particular Friedman setting, I've also got an extra drive that's not engaged. I've got another multi-tap delay and a reverse delay. So I've got lots of stuff. So as you, as you, you know, tap the, the buttons that you set up for each patch, it'll light up what you're, what you're doing. But for this video, I just, I did the, the delay, uh, pitch, chorus, effect, detuner, and a flanger. Most of the time I run my delay and my reverbs uh, and stuff through Pro Tools so I can mix it differently. But for this video, I just use the stock settings in this uh, patch that I designed. And I've got a Vox, not a Vox, an EHX uh, Cockfight Plus Wawa. I love that thing. I don't have a foot controller for this thing just yet, but I prefer just the, the standard Wawa pedal. Um, and there's my tap delay that I've got set up. Then you can change your channels by moving up and down the the buttons for the channels and then you've got your EQ settings and different things you can do on the fly. But the the coolest thing about the Fractal X8 is you can you can adjust everything on your computer and get it get it set up. So the way I've got this set up, this is my signal chain uh, and I've got my flanger in front of the amp. There's my amp and my cabinet IR and then I put my pitch and my delay after the amp. I think that sounds better. I am running a, a reverb in uh, Pro Tools. I wanted to do the reverb separately. So here's what, if you click on flanger, this brings up like the flanger settings. And I've got, I've got it set. I didn't do anything to this flanger to be honest with you. I, I just added a flanger and it sounded just like hear about it later. So I'm like, cool. But it's got, it's set up to like duo uh, digital mono. You can go digital stereo. Uh, you can change everything on this flanger from the rate, the tone, the depth, delay, feedback. You just got to experiment with it. For my amp, this is what the amp looks like. When I click on the amp, it pulls up all these different amp settings. And I've gone through and adjusted the EQ to the way that I like it. And... I mean, you can go through all kinds of different, you know, there's your global EQ, your preamp, power amp, power supply, your speaker, speaker drive, and dynamics. Some of this stuff, I don't even know what it does. Some of this, I just, if it sounds good, I leave it alone. But you can pretty much customize anything about this amp that you want. So it's a Friedman BE, but it's... You can go as deep as you want to with this thing. It's like the space shuttle. Then uh, with my cabinet, the thing that I like the best about the cabinets is you can, uh, I mean, these are impulse responses. And I've got, uh, I got some Friedman impulse responses that somebody gave me. Uh, but this is a Friedman cabinet on the left and a Friedman cabinet on the right. This one's a 20, uh, M25 with a 57. And this is a vintage 30 on the left. So I got two different Celestians on the left and right. 
And uh, if you go into advanced mode, I've got my proximity setting, which really makes it sound cool. It makes it sound like it's in a room. Sounds like it's really got a nice microphone in front of it. The IRs can make or break an amp sim. But that's my cabinet, and you can adjust you know, balance level, the way it pans. And then my, this is my pitch. This is my, my harmonizer, my detuner. And then the delay that I was using was just a stereo tape delay. I got it set at 500 milliseconds and it's a quarter tempo. I had it 27% in the mix. You can change the level of it. What's nice is if I wanted to change this flanger to something else, you right click on it and it will let you um, select. There's like, here's all these different things that you can choose. Loopers, phasers, parametric EQ, ring modulators, synth. There's a synthesizer in here. It's so cool. Tremolo, wah-wah. If you've got a foot controller that goes with the fractal, you can adjust a lot of this stuff. Uh, you know, like the rotary and the synth. You can do a lot of different things with a foot controller, which is really advanced. You can set different scenes, so when you're on a patch, if you want you know, a different scene with the same patch to have delay and not delay, you can, or extra drive to have a solo boost, you can do that and it's seamless. The only bad thing about the Fractal X8 is you can't run two amps at once. I know on the XFX3, from what I've heard, you can, but uh, it doesn't have the capability to do that. But you, you basically can just add and drag uh, things into this signal chain area and put them in any shape form that you want uh, There's the banks setting up here. You can go to your different banks and there's 64 banks of sounds that you can go through I've got it set on banks 1 through 16 right now, but you can do all and it'll load like every single bank in this in this device uh, so it takes it a minute to load it. It's a little slow. This app that I'm in is a free download from Fractal. Uh, but, you know, it's got all these, a lot of these are unusable. You have to go in and edit them, but they give you a good base setting uh, to like a template to work with. But there are many, many of them that are very good. The Eric Johnson ones sound perfect. Um, man, the but a lot of the stuff like the Fender amps and the, and a lot of the plexis, they sound very similar, but you got to just put different IRs with them and run your effects to make them come alive. And different guitars respond differently to the to the banks. So yeah, that's that's it. And uh, you can set up to you know eight scenes per patch with different settings. So I mean, it's really really versatile. But that's it. And I've, I've got it going in stereo to this focus right. Uh, Scarlet Focusrite. Uh, I wish I had a four channel or an eight channel. Sometimes it would be nice to be able to to run more at once or run a run some microphones for my YouTube channel and run in stereo. And once in a while, I've wanted to record a few people at once. But uh, that's it. I've got this uh, Akai MPK Mini for my MIDI stuff. When I run my when I record my instrumental music, you got to have keyboards and synthesizers and drums. And uh, I got my Jawa here in case I have computer issues. He can help me out and sell me some spare parts for my computer and help me out. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this uh, little run through. It's not the most professional way to do it, but uh, it's a quick one for you there. And if you uh, like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good day.